Welcome back guys. So in the last video we left off with the material of the spoon. Now we need to add a material to the base, which is the floor. So if we go to our preview mode, we can see that it's two planes. So let's select our plane here on the floor and go to the material properties, go to new, and let's change this material name to base underscore floor. And let's go to the base color. And let's change this to like a bluish teal color. Or you can change it to whatever color you want for the base. I chose this color because it's a nice neutral color. So uh, once we have this here, we can um, start to make this look more like a backdrop so we don't have any negative space in the background. So let's press tab to enter edit mode. Go to edge select. Select this horizontal edge here. We want to press E, which is the high key for extrude. Right click to cancel any movement and you can go to the move tool and press the blue arrow and drag it up. So now if we press tab to exit uh, edit mode and go to object level, we can rotate around and see what we just created. You see our backdrop here, it's basically a wall. So now we want to reselect um, our floor here, turn back on the overlays so we can see what we're doing. And let's go back to the edit mode. We want to select this corner edge here, press control B, drag out, and we can middle mouse scroll up to add more subdivisions to it and it makes it nice and smooth. So let's left click to confirm that and press tab to go back to the object level and right click and go to shade smooth so you can see what it looks like. Nice backdrop. So let's press zero to enter the camera view once again. And if we toggle off our overlays here at the top, and go to our cycles render, we can get a better representation of what we're actually looking at. And this looks fine, looks great. It looks a little too plain. So next I want to start creating a box of cereal in the background to add to the composition. So what I'll do is go back to shade mode and you can find the texture for the cereal box in the description of this video if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Udemy, inside the project folder, you can find this in the resource folder. So let's rotate around, let's create a box. So we're gonna press Shift A, go to Mesh, Cube, because a cube is closest to a box of cereal. We'll use our Scales tool to better capitalize on this. Want it to be wider than the actual cereal box, or the cereal bowl and you want it to be taller, so somewhere around here. And let's go to the bottom, press tab to enter edit mode, go to face select, and let's grab the bottom face here, as well as turn on your overlay so you can see what you're actually grabbing. You wanna drag this up to line up with the plane. It looks fine here, so I'll press tab. And I'm gonna have this float really quick here at the top above the cereal box, since I already have the general shape I need, I want to create an opening of the cereal box so we can add some complexity to the scene. So with the face mode selected, and we are in edit mode, I'll select the top face, and I'll press I to create an inset. And I just want this to be thin enough to mimic a box, as well as use the scale tool to capitalize on the thickness of the width. So this is fine here. Now we can press E to extrude. And if you turn on wire mode, wireframe mode, you can actually see how far you're going down. Although we're not gonna actually see how far this is once we're actually laying this out, but it's just nice to um, have a visual representation of where you actually are. Now with that done, I can go back to shading mode and I want to create an open, uh, open box. So I'll select these two faces here on the side. I'll press E to extrude and I'll just bring them up slightly. And I'll use the scale tool to bring them closer to each other. And what I'll do is select one separately and I'll move one back. Switch to the rotate tool and I want to basically have this one over here line up a little bit better. 
so it doesn't look fake. And typically, I, I do the two side flaps as well, but I'm going to leave them out for now. So let's start adding a material to this box. So first thing I'm going to do is add a material to the box is go to the material properties, go to new, change the name from material to serial underscore box underscore shader. And where's this base color? I'm not going to change the color of the base color. I'm going to instead choose this yellow dot here and go to where are you image texture and then I'm going to go to open and wherever you store the image that you downloaded for the serial box and your uh, PC or laptop you can now direct yourself there and go and grab the fruit loop layout PNG that I provided for you guys now you won't be able to see it in shade mode so you have to go to the preview mode or you can go to cycles so let's use preview mode since it runs a little bit smoother and notice that the image is all over the box. Now we have to UV lay this out. So with the box selected, we want to basically go to UV editing and it's gonna divide our viewport up into a 3D viewport on the right side and on the left side have our UVs. So let's bring this over a little bit and let's drag the right side over to the right so we can go to preview mode. And we can drag it back if we need to. So first things first, I want to have this be the front of the box. So what I'll do is ensure I'm in face select, select this face here. Then I can just press U and press project from view. And on the left side, notice we have a plane here and this is our face that we have on the right side selected. So what I want to do is just Go to face select here in the UV. So this is vertice, this is edge, and this is face. Select this, choose it here, and I can press G to grab, and I'll move this to line it up. And notice as I move this on my left side on the UVs, it's projecting on the right side, a 3D image. That's what you want. So I'm gonna hold shift, middle mouse, to pan, and I'm gonna better line these up. So I can go to vertice mode, select a vertice, Press G and I can line this up with the image. And I can do this for all of these. As well as you have uh, tools on the left side as you do when you're modeling that you can take advantage of as well to move these around. So I'll bring this one down a bit. And that looks good. So let's work on the sides. And we're just gonna repeat the same functionality. So on the right side of the viewport, we're in face mode. I'm gonna select this face here. Then I'm gonna line my viewport up to match this. And I'm gonna press U on the keyboard and bring up the UV map um, options. I'm gonna press project from view. And I'm gonna just line this up. And I want this to line up with this one here. So what I'll do is Go to face select on the UV side, select our face, and I can scale this to match up with our image that we have. So I'll go to vertice select, line this up a bit better. You can middle mouse scroll in to zoom in on it. You can ensure that everything lines up correctly. So that looks good. So let's go to the other side here. Go to face mode, select it. Press U, project from view. And we can select them here on this side. Press G to grab. And you can just line these up. I'm in vertice mode. And I'll line these up. 
Use my scale tool, scale these inwards, as well as these ones. As you can see, this looks really good. And we're not naturally going to see all of this stuff. So if you don't want to line all this up, that's not going to be in the camera. You do not have to, but it's just good practice to know what you're doing and also to build um, familiarity with the program. So I selected my face here. I'm going to press U, project from view, rinse and repeat, guys. Now that we're done with this, we have to do the bottom as well. So what I can actually do for the bottom is press Control 7, which will bring us to the bottom camera view, and I can press U, project from view. And now you can see if you rotate around, we have that. So now we line up the bottom vertices on the left side to the bottom of the box. We can scale those up. And that looks good right there. Now we'll add one for the top. Press U, project from view. Line this up at the top of this. And notice this is going to be one half of the box. This isn't going to be the entirety of this entire image right here. Bring this down. Line these two up. And we're going to connect this side to the same image. So on the right side of the 3D viewport, we'll line up our camera, press U, project from camera, or project from view, and we'll bring these over to match. Good. Now for the interior, it's going to be the same process. So select the face you want. And I'll select these two here. From this view, I'll press U, project from view. And I'll just bring these down scale and I'll line them up right here. We have the inside of the cereal box. I'll repeat that same functionality on this side as well. Press U, project from view. Drag them down, move them over here. Same for the side. So a lot of this stuff is just repetition Rotate 90 degrees, so I press R 90 and press G so I can move it. Repeat. Here from view. Rotate R 90 degrees and we can just move this with the move tool and we can scale this down even smaller. Now this is a good point to save our work and we'll continue in the next video. So let's press file, save.